The latest trend in smartphones is curved displays. LG was one of the first manufacturers to release a phone with a curved display. Now they are back again with a sequel to their original curved phone. Is the G Flex 2 the curve you deserve? Everyone is looking for a new way to differentiate their phone from the crowd, and we're seeing more manufacturers try curved displays. Samsung is all about curved edges, but LG uses a curve that's more like a banana. While Samsung and LG may be the only ones doing curved displays, they couldn't treat them any differently. But before we get into the benefits of a curved display, let's talk about the phone as a whole. LG has shrunk the display from 6 inches down to a more manageable 5.5 inches, and they bumped the resolution up to 1080p. This is a really great looking display. Everything is super crisp and colors look great without being overly saturated. Powering the device is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810. There were some concerns about the 810 overheating in the HEC One M9, but the G Flex 2 barely even gets warm when playing intensive games. Everything runs really fast and snappy, and I certainly didn't see any of the lag that was present on the device at CES. Battery life has been exceptional. I was able to get over three days of battery life with just very light usage. It just barely sips battery while being idle. Even when playing games and watching videos, the battery life is still great, which is thanks to the beefy 3000 milliamp hour battery. Covering that non-removable battery is the self-healing back. The original G Flex had a self-healing back that required heat and friction to heal small scratches. LG says this new model can heal scratches in just 10 seconds right before your eyes. I didn't have much luck with this. The thing is that the scratches it can heal are so minimal that you likely wouldn't care about them anyway. LG did a really nice job with the camera. They basically transplanted the camera from the LG G3 into the G Flex 2, which was a good decision. The laser autofocus works great and photos look really crisp and clear. The camera software is even better. By default, it's dead simple with just two buttons, but more options are just a tap away. They also added a nifty selfie gesture. And that's really LG's nameless Android skin in a nutshell. It's clean and simple. They have a few cool tricks here and there, and some features you won't find on any other device, but it's not bloated. Now let's talk about the curved display. One of my favorite things about the G Flex 2 is how nonchalantly LG approaches it. They haven't included any special widgets, gestures, or any other gimmicks. They aren't trying to convince anyone that a curved display is going to change their life. They simply made a really great phone that happens to have a curved display. There are benefits to the curved display. It's perfect for making phone calls and it feels great in the hand, but these aren't earth shattering features. The same thing can be said about all curved phones right now. You get this phone because it looks cool. In a day and age where 90% of the phones look alike, you can stand out from the crowd with the LG G Flex 2.